Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, and I'm playing FTL, Faster Than Light. This is an indie game which is basically best described in the words of Parky, who is not good at describing anything in life, a spaceship simulation game. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already played this or even seen other series, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining it. I'm going to assume that everyone knows how it works. But I've only played this once, and that was yesterday. <laughs> and I can't say that I'm very skilled at it, so don't get your hopes up. Probably half you left now. But yes, I unlocked the Taurus, which is a new ship layout. Um, I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, maybe, No, actually, we're going to go with the Kestrel. I know it's probably not as interesting, but I am awful. And <laughs> I've, I've found that that other layout is kind of confusing. So, we're going to rename our crew and also the ship. And of course, of course, of course, we're going to call it the HMS Pakistan. I mean, what else could I call it that would be less retarded? Okay, rename. So our crew, we've got a crew of three people. We're going to have me, Captain, Captain Parky. We're also going to have Kips in our crew because I'm sure he's brilliant at, like, flying a spaceship for some reason. And we're going to make him have brown hair. Okay, we both have brown hair, fair enough. And the third person we're going to call Morph. I can actually type, that would be nice. There we go, and Morth can have green hair, because he's Dutch. <laughs> right, okay. So we're going to probably... Oh, Christ. I played this on easy yesterday. Trust me, it's not easy, so don't worry, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, right, so we've got an Armentis missile, which ignores shields and a burst laser. Right, right, right. Let's just get into this. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip death. Remember, losing is part of the fun. No, I'm serious. We well, do lose quite a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay. So let's look at our ship. Now, currently we've got this going on. Now, in my experience, I think it's very important, actually, to put more power into the reactor, initially anyway, um, because then I can charge everything. But we'll soon see, I'll probably die instantly, knowing me. Uh, we're going to go to this one. Now the issue is I don't want to hang around too long in this star system because the um, rebel's going to catch up with me. Okay, so an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel, vi rebel space station. <laughs> Sensors indicate that it's a storage vessel for military goods. Well, seeing as we're at full strength, I'm going to attack this one. Right, I'm just going to pause it. Okay, now again, in my very limited experience, I find it's best to take out their weapon systems first. So we're going to do that with the Armentis missile, which ignores um, shields. And then we're going to try and take out their drives with the burst laser. Ah, oh, but they don't actually have any shields, do they? What am I talking about? Oh well. So we'll wait for these to charge up. So actually we need to reallocate where we want people to go, don't we? We'll put Kips on shields and Morth can go into weapons. And I'll stay flying the spaceship. I was about to say driving the fle the flay ship. Jesus Christ. Okay. So the station was either blah blah blah, you seem to have Oh, you find nothing. Okay, but we did get some scrap from that ship. So we could upgrade, and what I'm probably gonna do is put a point into piloting. Because that increases our evasion, which is very useful. Right, we could go to the store. We haven't really got much money, so there's no point. They didn't even hit us at all. We're just going to go to this star here. This planet, even. You barely have time to register jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. Continue. Right. So we could actually put someone in engines, couldn't we? Who do we not need somewhere? Well, we don't need Kips on shields. We could actually just bung him in engines. I think that'd be more useful. Yeah, because it increases dodge chance. Why have I not done that before? I just felt it was necessary to have someone on shields. Right. Uh, we're going to go for shields with the laser and a, man a mentis on the weapons. And this time they do have shields, so it does make sense. <laughs> Hopefully. 
People are probably gonna like have a rage at me in the comment section telling me that I'm doing everything wrong. To be honest, like, I think everyone plays in their own style, so, you know, it might be fun seeing me die over and over again. We're not gonna accept surrender because, you know, we're evil like that. So now we're gonna go for their oxygen and try and take out their drive. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Right, uh, so we got one fuel, one drone part, and 24 scrap from that, which is pretty good. Uh, we can probably... See, now, I like doing this. I like upgrading these subsystems first, because they tend to help quite a bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to increase it to blast doors, because, as you'll see later on, if you're not used to this game, uh, if you get hit sometimes, your interior of your ship goes on fire. <laughs> And unless you have good doors, the fire spreads and kills everything, which is not good. So there's nothing here. Go to this distress beacon over here. Might be something interesting. This distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sense is picking up a single life form. Go to the service. You find a colony that seems to be recently attacked. Exploring, you find a lo Yeah, okay, join my crew, please. Nice, okay, so we've got a rock man, which I'm going to put in shields. I mean, it only seems apt, doesn't it, that there's a rock person. Wait, is he a rock man? Let's have a look. Yes, he's a rock man, also known as an Engi. Or Engai. Right. We could put... No, we don't have any power, it's pointless. So let's jump. Where should we jump to? Might as well go down here. Right. Mercenary. Uh, I'm going to fight this ship. Just because I want some stuff off of him. Okay, so instantly take out weapons. And then go for... Sh mm, go for shields. So if you take out those two things with this, it's only a small ship. We should be fine. To be honest, if possible, I would quite like to get some more crew members fairly soon. Um, not that I particularly need them at this point, because actually, I've not had a fourth crew member this early on in the game before, which is kind of interesting. They're repairing the shields, it's fine. We will not accept surrender. We're just going to keep burst lasering them. Shoot their weapons. There you go. So this point in the game is pretty easy. It does get quite difficult. <laughs> it's not this easy all the time. Okay. Now I got that. See, see, I don't really find that one so useful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my power slightly. And, and we've got 19. So one other thing that I like doing is increasing my um, engines. Now you're probably going to rage again at every decision I make in this. Uh, but... My reasoning is that if you're in a sticky situation, the more power you commit to engines, the faster your FTL drive um, powers up, so you can get away, <laughs> which I think is quite a good thing. I mean, that makes logical sense to me, anyway. Okay. Uh, we can't actually hire them. Might as well fight them again. Mercenaries are worse than... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Power our Mentis. Fire at weapons and go for oxygen. Now, a lot of this game is basically this. Um, it's also, there's more decision making later on. Now that we've got this Engi on board, if we come across any Engi ships later on, spoilers, uh, we'll be able to have a blue sort of comment, like solution task thingy. Actually, they're giving us some fuel we could. I kind of want to scrap those, to be honest. Like, later on, I might. I would consider that, but I'm okay for now. I've got 11 fuel. Well, so that's another problem that I tend to have. For some reason, I always run out of fuel, and it's really annoying, and I just end up dying. Oh, we got three fuel anyway, it's fine. So, actually, this is working out pretty well. Right, uh, can't upgrade anything. Crew. What is Charlie good at? Or do they... Oh, I see. They actually get good at the places that you put them in. Ah. Ah, I 
I see, I see. So Kips on engines. We're gonna jump. We're gonna jump here. We've got enough time in this sector to carry on. Uh, your jump leads to a completely unmarked binary star system. There's nothing here. Wonderful. Uh, we're gonna go. Ooh. We're gonna go here. It's in a nebula, which is a bit of an issue, and you'll see why. Um, we're gonna attack this. Uh, we're gonna go for the captain this time, the uh, main control. Yeah, so basically in nebulas you don't have the sensors subsystem, which means that you can't see what's going in all the rooms that you're not you haven't got crew members in, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's basically what that is. To be honest, I don't even think these people can get through our shields. We're not gonna accept surrender. Go for oxygen. So yeah, these are only small ships. Um, I think later on in the Let's Play we're going to probably get to quite a difficult level. Because <laughs> that always tends to happen with me and I just fail instantly. Maybe like in the third or fourth nebula thing. Not nebula. Galaxy. Okay, so we've got some more there. 45. Now I'd say that's good enough to upgrade. I tend to not upgrade oxygen very quickly. Uh, we probably could do some more power. People are going to hate me, I know. <laughs> and we're going to put one in shields. I know that doesn't help us right now, but it's a bit of a it's a bit of a sort of investment because you need to invest twice each time to actually get the ne next level of shields up here. And we've obviously we've only just put one in, so we're not going to be able to get those yet. But it's fine. See, it won't let us. Okay, we're going to get out of this nebula because I'm fed up, fed up with these damn people. Right, next sector please. We're going to go to the civilian controlled because to be honest, I have yet to get to the end of this, I think galaxy or something. So, I, I'm kind of, I, I want to see what's here. <laughs> but anyway, I think this is probably a good place to end it. Um, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave a like, comment or favourite. Your feedback would really help as well as this is the first episode of this. Because if you like it, then brilliant. I know a lot of people suggest it to me. If you don't like it, tell me why. And saying I'm a knob isn't a good enough reason. Because <laughs> I know someone at least will do that. Um, but yeah, leave comments and likes. That really um, helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>